Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a batch file that will automatically clear your temporary folder when you boot your system up. It's very useful um, to uh, clear out your temp folder. Now, you can automatically do that. I mean, you can do this manually, but uh, I'm going to show you how to create a simple batch file which you can use to uh, do this for you when you boot your computer up automatically. So, uh, if you... Uh, Hold down the Windows key and you hit R, and you write temp, er, and you write uh, percentage temp percentage, and uh, you click OK. That's going to pull up our temporary folder. Now I've only had two files in here, but uh, for you guys, you'd probably have a lot of files. I'm doing this over a virtual machine, so there's probably very few temp files here, but uh, you may have this like several temp files and uh you can always uh highlight them all and delete them but uh i'm going to show you how to create a batch file in notepad that will automatically delete the temp folder for you every time you boot the system up and uh we're going to configure it to boot with windows and it will be a, a, a makeshift uh, uh batch file that will create up a notepad that will automatically clear up this temp folder for you when you boot the system up so you don't have to um do this manually and you don't have to go in here and delete the files so uh, a lot of people use CCleaner and I personally do that too CCleaner will also get rid of these temp files too but uh, in this one I'm going to be showing you how to use notepad and make a simple batch file to uh, remove these temp files when you boot the computer up so what you want to do is you want to uh, hit the Windows key and hit R and then you want to write notepad dot exe in here but I spelled that wrong Um, uh, when you do that, uh, you'll get the notepad opened up, and what you want to do is you want to, uh, write the following information into here. Uh, you want to write, you want to copy down this address, this, uh, directory, application data, percentage, Microsoft Windows Start Menu Program Startup Cleanup dot bat. So you just want to copy that down, and you want to type all of this into notepad like I have here. I'll make the font a bit bigger so you guys can see. And uh, what you want to do is you want to uh, just, uh, you want to erase this, but you want to make sure you copy this address. It's very important. So just copy that and down and have it all set up like I have here. So now you can go ahead and erase that line. And all you want is to keep this once you've copied that line. And what you want to do is you want to click File and click Save As. And uh, what you want to do is you want to um, name this and put this as a uh, and paste this in um, like this. So we want to uh, paste this information in exactly like I have it here. So I'll make it a little bigger. Actually, you probably can see that. So that's percentage app data, Microsoft Windows Start Menu Program Startup Cleanup dot bat. And what you want to do is you just want to save that. And uh, you can go ahead and exit out of Notepad now. And uh, what you want to do is, if you've done that correctly, you can uh, browse to this directory and File Explorer. So I'm just going to go and uh, browse to that directory. So uh, you'll see there's a .batch file in here. So uh, once again, I'll do this for you. So it, you, it's uh, your username, app data, Roman, Microsoft, Windows, Start, Menu, Program, Startup. That's where the location of the bat file is. Again, uh, I'll open Notepad for you, so directory. So, uh, again, that directory is app data, percentage, and uh, you can always get to that various different ways, anyhow, by hitting the Windows button and write app. Data percentage in. And then you can, uh, like, navigate to the uh, Microsoft and, you know, Windows folder and uh, start menu and programs and startup, and then you'll see that cleanup dot that file that we created in notepad and uh that 
batch file will be programmed to automatically start when you boot the system up. So uh, what that's notepad of what we created in notepad, what that's going to do is that's going to clean out our temp folder and, uh, for us. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, exit out of notepad here and I'm just going to go back into run and write uh, percentage temp percentage again. And I'm just going to put a whole bunch of stuff inside this temp folder here. So uh, again, I'm just going to put text, do text documents in. Now, you guys are probably going to have a lot more temp files than me, so I'm just going to make some to show you this. And uh, now that we've configured the .bat file and we have it in the startup directory, we're gonna when when Windows boots, it's gonna automatically clear this folder right here for us automatically. So uh, what we're gonna go ahead is we're gonna go ahead and reboot the computer, and we'll go back into this directory, and these files won't be there anymore. All right, so uh, let's reboot the system. And uh, we'll go ahead and reboot Windows here, and I'll pause the video until it reboots. Have the computer just booting up right now. I'll make it full screen, and um, that batch file probably automatically started for us. So uh, um, you may have seen the batch file if I run real quickly with the command prompt. But I think that batch file it should have automatically executed for us. Oh, there it goes right there. You see in that batch file that just quickly disappeared. So what that's just did is that's just cleared the temp folder for us. So if we go back and hit the Windows button and hit R. Go back to percentage temp percentage and click and uh we'll just go to we'll just let it come up here you'll see here that the uh, temp folder is now empty so anytime you create a folder up in uh, any time there's something in the temp folder so uh we'll just put a new uh text document in or anything so anytime something gets put into the temp folder for now on when you boot up the computer, that batch file will automatically clear out this temp folder for you, so it does it by itself, and uh, that will prevent your temp your temp uh, folder from collecting a lot of uh, files, slowing your computer down. So, uh, if you enjoy my videos, remember to comment, write, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.